Okay, so now we're getting into the good stuff. This is going to be our first transformation. And again, I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the fact that a transformation is basically just a change. So our first directive is to graph the image of triangle CDE. Well, I first have to show you triangle CDE. All right, so here goes our triangle CDE. And we're going to be graphing its image after a translation. 10 units to the left and one unit up, okay? So a translation basically slides a figure to a different location. You're just basically going back and forth, up or down. You're shifting your position. All right, so we're going to start off with point C. And we're going to move point C, which is currently located at an X coordinate of eight and a Y coordinate of negative seven. We're going to move it left 10 units. So one, two, three, four, five five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm only gonna count for this one just to, you know, get everyone feel, to feel comfortable with shifting a point. And we're going to move it up one unit. So it should land us right about here. Oh, I think I'm off a little bit. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't mess that up for you guys. All right, so now we've shifted the position of our original point C, and it's not in the same position, so we're going to name it C prime. This little apostrophe that you see right here is always given the name prime. So C prime is the shifted position of point C. So now um, we have point D, and we're going to move point D, which is currently located at an X coordinate of eight and a Y coordinate of two, obviously we're going to move it left 10 units and we're going to again, move it up one unit. All right, I was right this time. <laughs> All right, so this is our new, newly positioned point D and since it's not in its original state, we're going to call it D prime, okay? I think there's a new question. Let's try to get to it. 